And as many of you know, Philly Live is all about experiencing everything our city has to offer, even if you're just walking around. And our girl Sheila Wako spoke to a photographer whose new book shows us some of the beauty we can find on the streets of Philly every single day. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Anya, thank you. Ed Hill was a photographer with the Philadelphia Inquirer for 33 years. He just released his new book of photography called In Plain Sight, Public Art in Philadelphia. It's his love letter to Philly about art that is all around us and readily accessible. We don't have to go to a museum. We don't even have to buy a ticket. It's right there if we just look up. People have said, you know, the book is like a love affair with Philadelphia. It, it's such a positive kind of uh, experience some of the best work that I've ever done. Ed started his photography career working for his college newspaper before moving on to sports photography. He ended up working as a photojournalist at the Philadelphia Inquirer for 33 years when he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. He retired a year later in 2017, but he didn't want to sit around doing nothing. He still wanted to be a photographer. After I took a couple months worth of pictures, I decided that maybe it was better to try to do a book which I dreamed about but never really uh, pursued. In Plain Sight is all about the relationship between people and art, like the young woman in the cover photo whom Ed stumbled upon in the Navy Yard. There happened to be a young lady from Bucks County, a musician, having a music video shot of her. And I, I stood back for a while and then I went up and asked, was it all right if I shot some pictures while she was playing? And she said, yeah, that'd be great. Ed's favorite photo is one that captures the We Are Youth mural in Point Breeze by Keith Haring. There was a chance that it was going to be torn down. And it was restored by the mural art program. And uh, it's, it's a terrific picture. Ed says that creating his art while battling Parkinson's has not been as big a challenge as one might think. He's donating all proceeds from the book to Parkinson's research. Parkinson's is a disease that has no uh, cure. And... Uh, I wanted to do something in my own way, and I, I, the book was like the vehicle that I chose. It's more than touching. It's amazing uh, how people who know people with Parkinson's or have Parkinson's, you know, have uh, a connection with each other and are willing to help each other. Besides appreciating the gorgeous photos in his book, Ed has some lessons he hopes people take away from In Plain Sight. I hope that they appreciate uh, the fact that it, People with Parkinson's are still able to do normal things and to contribute to society. It shows that, that there are stories and there are pictures that can be taken in your backyard. That, that although I was able to travel all over the world, you know, I found one of my best stories right in Philadelphia. Public Art in Philadelphia is out now. It makes a perfect coffee table book, of course, for a wonderful cause. Ed also wanted to shout out Rock Steady Boxing. It's an exercise program for people with Parkinson's to practice boxing, and it's a very close-knit community. We've got details on where you can buy your copy of In Plain Sight in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app. Anya, back to you. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you, Sheila.